This is our new YouTube format where we try to interview some of the people we meet during our travels. This gives travelers from all over the world the opportunity to share their stories with a different audience and gives you an insight into the diverse world of traveling. Enjoy! Okay, so can I ask you to quickly introduce yourself to uh, our 10 followers? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name is Sujit uh, Kumar. Uh, I'm a full-time traveler right now. Uh, I was working as an electrical engineer in a hydropower plant. So I worked for around 10, uh, 12 years. Uh, I worked in India and in Mozambique, African country, neighbor to South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, work, while working in uh, Mozambique, I had all my uh, comfort in my life. Uh, I like uh, it was like company has given me everything, the vehicle, the house, everything. But the only thing is that there was no challenges uh, okay. because everything was going like a textbook. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as a child, I always like challenges in life, hurdles in life, so that I can cross every day, each and every day there will be new thing which is I'm learning, yeah. I'm giving to the society all, uh, which improves my personality. So I, I, it was a great, uh, like it was very tough uh, decision for me. Uh, I've been to South America, then after coming back, I thought I need to be a full-time traveler, not a nine-to-five job. <laughs> <laughs> So I decided uh, to quit the job, but my company didn't agree with me because they were good, like they were happy with me having you. In so company. they didn't let you leave? No, no, no they no. didn't let me <laughs> for go. And for many a uh, few months, they hold on my resignation. Mm -hmm. And finally, I was sticking on my resignation. So uh, like just before the lockdown, COVID was spreading toward the world. So I, they approved my resignation and uh, like... So you were a free man but... Yeah, I was, yeah exactly. Oh. I, was, <laughs> I became very free but uh, the COVID helped me in my position when I came back to India. <laughs> and uh, the same day lockdown started indefinitely oh. and I was stuck in home for one and a half years. So <laughs> I was literally cursing myself for taking the decision because I could not travel because I wanted to travel from India to uh, Europe by hitchhiking. That, yeah. That's the motive I had in my mind I present the job. Uh, but when the COVID struck, all the border closed, I was literally shattered. I uh, was sitting home cursing myself. I did <laughs> <laughs> that job. Now I could not travel the world also. Like even my family members were starting. Because none of my family members are a traveler. Yeah. Everyone wants to be engineer or doctor, engineer or doctor. So that's, that's a cycle which is going in my Family. And then when no one is a traveler, did you know how did you come up with hitchhiking from India to Europe? Uh, yeah, to because uh, as, uh, as a child I was very fascinated about the countries, the capitals and all I was collecting stamps. And eventually it, I didn't know that I liked traveling. But when I was traveling literally in bus or train in India, so I wished always uh, the destination doesn't come so that I keep traveling. So this was the first earliest uh, bug which was in myself so that I love traveling on this bug. So eventually it grew but I seen many westerners coming to India with a big backpack. I never knew how they are traveling. Yeah. I was very fascinated how they are traveling. <laughs> I was following them everywhere uh, but I don't know to communicate with them. So. I never communicated with them so okay. I was very curious and very fascinated how they are doing this very big backpack and all uh, <laughs> as a, a teenager or growing up. <laughs> what is the goal for the next few years? What is your goal? Mm, Let's say five years. Uh, probably in five years I'll be completing all 196 countries. Really? Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's my goal. And how is it to travel as an Indian with a quite a, um, a very big passport? Pass, yes, yeah, big passport. Pass, yes, it's very tough, uh, as you said, uh, to travel the world uh, with a big Indian passport. Yeah. Uh, I have my US visa. I have my Schengen visa right now, so it makes my Indian passport way it's stronger, it's stronger, stronger, yeah. stronger. So I can travel more than 100 countries right now with the yeah. current passport. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> we're, we're happy for you. And what is one advice that you got for us? Uh, <laughs> uh, one advice, uh, like I never give up. Okay. Keep the hope till the last moment. Never give up. Okay, that's probably something you learned hitchhiking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, when I when do you feel the happiest? When I'm traveling. 
Yeah. Uh, never, there's not a single moment when I felt uh, sad when I'm traveling. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Why should people uh, visit your country? Uh, people should, I always say when people ask me about my country because they need to travel our country because it's a different continent stuffed into one country. So <laughs> uh, I don't say people to visit our country, I say experience India. That's yeah. what I said because it's so diverse. The everything is diverse in India. So <laughs> yeah, please welcome. <laughs> That's a nice thing. <laughs> um, and name us one thing that you cannot live without. Traveling. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about one really exciting traveling story of yours. I was hitchhiking uh, from Bulgaria uh, to Skopje, as I said, uh, and uh, I. I landed in uh, Kustensi, the last city in Bulgaria, at six o'clock, and I wanted to go up to Skopje. Uh, so, but uh, uh, since I'm holding an Indian passport, I'm from uh, Asia, so there were a lot of border police who stopped uh, around, and it was 40 minutes which we lost uh, in the process, and the daylight also was like interrogation, or like interrogation, or everything. They saw my visas, then they said, "Okay, good luck." They were saying, "Good luck." I literally asked them. They were going to the border. Can I come with you to the border? <laughs> I thought, no, no, no. They said no, and they went. And I started walking, and I uh, found a hotel. Uh, but it was very expensive. It was around the fifty euro. Uh, fifty euro. I could not. Ex uh, it was. It was afforded. Uh, it was dark, and I was sitting outside the hotel. It was freezing. It was two degrees or something like that. I didn't have my proper jacket also that time. And I was sitting there. The hotel guy. I think he called the cops. Uh, they, he's, he said someone randomly sitting in front of a hotel yeah, and yeah. says that they can't do that so uh, so the cops started interviewing me they, it was different cops so they saw my passport they returned my name yeah, yeah. they said I said I want to walk to the border it was 20 kilometers I'm okay with the walking I had my headlamp I had my yeah. reflector jacket so but they said it's too dangerous because there's no fourth path there's yeah. all tall grass which That's is drawn right. So trucks which is passing in a high speed, so yeah. it may knock you down. So it is it is very unlikely that you reach the border. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's when I wanted to come back. Then uh, I started walking back. So they stopped, they cop uh, again. Uh, but, um, and they came back and they stopped me and me and they said hop on to the vehicle. Uh, so they literally broke the protocol. Actually, if they want someone to take into the uh, their um, cop uh, police car, they need to handcuff him. Yeah. So, oh. so they they. But you were they, not, yeah, no, not handcuffed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they took me to the border and they dropped me to the border. That's why I said never give up. I thought I gave up on that day. I thought I will. Uh, uh, then my mind said I'll walk to the border, but I'll never give up. But literally, these cops helped me to reach the border. Yeah. I crossed the border on the same day. So yeah. keep the uh, uh, this one alive. So definitely something will dramatically change never for you. <laughs> yeah. And it shows that hitchhiking is full of ups and downs. Yeah, ups and downs. And exactly. Just exactly. have to get through the downs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to feel so. the high again. <laughs> yeah. That's when you rejoice the happiness. When you yeah. come from down to house, yeah, <laughs> then you'll be the happiest. Then, literally, uh, I was so happy in the car when I was going to the border, uh, like my tears started oh. flowing down. <laughs> <laughs> it was so emotional, I was so happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Last question <laughs> What are you most grateful for? I don't know which all things came together, yeah. uh, which I thought I cannot travel in my lifetime where I buried all my desire to travel one point of life. Uh, so, but something changed in me because I had a lot of passion for travel. I don't know how it changed everything, uh, but somehow resigned job, everything came in place. Uh, I found a co surfing. Uh, I would uh, thank uh, one of my friends. Uh, he's also a surfing ambassador mm -hmm. uh, who made a uh, co surfing uh, familiar to us because he brought all the co surfers who were like here and there together and he gave the introduction. He's from India, uh, he stays near to my home, 
and he is the ambassador of also fame yeah, he is there for many years now uh, and i would be very thankful for introducing such a beautiful uh, community to me and yeah. gave me confidence to use it because also fame doesn't have any uh, it is not bound with any thing it's it's toward the world it's not bound with religion it's not bound with color it's not yeah. bound with any language it's, bound, yeah, yeah. it's everywhere you go the people if i'm stranger today tomorrow we we are friends, friends now. now yeah that yeah. that's the beauty of cow surfing that's so uh, that's how it changed the travelers uh, that's why i'm very thankful that's, that's yeah. one thing to be grateful for yeah. yeah okay well thank you so much yeah it's my pleasure for having me yeah. i wish you all the best thank you thank you pass cross again at some point yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs>